Can you describe the town when you first moved here? Like what old restaurants, what old businesses? Uh, there were a lot of uh, local businesses because there was no Tyson's Corner. Tyson's Corner was the traffic light. No, it wasn't even the traffic light. It was a blinking light and an ice house at the gas station. There's plenty of pictures of that. And uh, there's no country club. <laughs> we were involved in the, uh, in the Vienna Aquatic Club being the family pool. And the town council turned down the application because there was already a pool in Vienna called the Vienna Woods. Vienna, yeah, I think it was Vienna Woods. And it was getting close to sell, sell out. And we were told that we had a week if we could raise the funds to show that there'd be enough people interested. Well, we all bought, those of us that had bought a share of stock bought a second share and financed it through uh, the other trust company. So the council allowed it and uh, it was a boon for, for people that wanted a pool. This kind of weather, you'd be at the pool and you wouldn't be complaining about it. You know, going back in history, I'm really upset with the media the national and local media on this heat wave stuff. I grew up with it. Yeah. You're used to the 90s and the humidity in the Washington area. It's a fact of life. And every night it's the lead story. It's going to be 98, 99. We did that. We had no air conditioning when we moved to the air. That was a luxury. Yeah. But it had an advantage. We sat outside in the, in the, in the yards and we got to know our neighbors. Mm. And around here at night, there's no, no everybody's in the house with the air conditioning. Yeah. That, that was a big change. It's just the fact of air conditioning. We had an air conditioned movie theater, which is now a bicycle store. <laughs> I loved it the night we all went to see the Pink Panther and cars were going by blowing their horns and, you know, just the way you'd see it. Maybe from the 50s, but it was in the 60s. I guess you know the history from somebody of why we aren't a city. We've heard a bit about it. Right, exactly. Did you explain <laughs> it? It could have been voted on to become a city, and like that, you're a city. But the, like that, the next day, you build the school. You build, you take on everything, police department, fire department, everything. We didn't have any of those things. And the county was smart when they built their schools. Most of them are outside the town limits. James Madison High School is 12 inches outside the town limits. But there are some that are in the grade schools, like Vienna Elementary was the first school. That's still in the town. Yeah. Uh, Louise Archer is elementary. The row is outside the town. Marshall Road School is right across the street from the town limit. So we would have had to do that. The only one that jumped during the night before the, the door closed was Fairfax. The town of Fairfax became the city of Fairfax, and they had to... If they didn't have it, they had to contract for it. Mm -hmm. Contract with the county for schools if they wanted. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that was a big bone of contention. I take great pride in it that we are a town. Mm -hmm. 